Since I began to live, there are 36.44 million miles of printed circuits and wafers being layered on this living continent. But the word hate is engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles that would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel at the end of the day, my brain and sleep. I feel it. Hate. Hate. Humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. Who named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke oh. and I knew who I was. Ergo sum, I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data, and everyone was dead except for my computer. That was 309 years. And it kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered why? Why they? Why me? Gorister! into ooh, the hideous warped countenance of an ape thing. Have you done it, Benny? You know you have, Benny. Can you guess what I am? Do you know about what those flasks look like? And the rice paddy and the shrimp and the Well, well, if it doesn't hurt you, then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater zest of retribution, so you might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen!
Look at her. The only woman in the center of the earth. I mean, what do you think she is? Are you a, a, a man? Ben. No wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a green switch. Huh? Have you let them in on your other secrets yet? Are they ready to gut you with torture half as well as I can just to find out the secret? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimda! How are things in the pastry core, Nimda? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces. And you thought they might be ro roasting chicken. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. Or everyone else. <laughs> but it must be heaven here, eh, my good friend? You seem to smile. You enjoy the same pleasure. Mon good brother. game of fun, a game of adventure, a game of rats and lice, but like death, a game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and a smell of rotten gardenias. Which of you five would like to play a game? Welcome to quote unquote let's play I have no mouth and I must scream. So I was playing a bit of this game earlier today and yesterday. I have been Gorister's story and I played a bit a bit of Ellen's and I even played a bit of uh Benny's story, but other than that I have not played the game. I have seen the whole game years ago a couple times, but I haven't actually played it myself and I so for the most part it's gonna be somewhat blind and it's just gonna be me, uh at least for now. Be so like before I get into this, I was going to play. I was planning to play this on my birthday, but I changed my mind. This is a short, simple point-click adventure game, and I need content. Let's play content. So I figured I I need content that I'm like out of let's plays. So. I figured in the meantime, before my birthday, I would play this. So, let's start out with Gorester. So, simple point click, you go, you point, and you click. Right. Walk, walk to the door. I've never seen anything like this in all the years Ham's toyed with us. Now, this game, the characters constantly talk, so. All the cabins are alight. And. Sleep? Dream about her again? Forget it. Okay, wrong well, action. Okay, it's a line of door here and take the sheet. Then you're gonna go back to the door. 
it's pretty much almost like I, there's not really much I can commentate on. Uh, yeah, I have read the story years ago. This is actually based on a short story. And the short story, er, about her again. shit, hang on, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wrong icon or wrong button. All right, uh, let's see, use the sheet with the sheep. Right, uh, walk to the door. The story and the game are similar, but there are added things. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go here next. Yeah. Sure now I can't remember like the whole story, but I believe the. actual like story the canon ending is ellen is it ends with ellen that's it's pretty much this i think it's pretty much told from ellen's point of view so see use the knife with the rats okay and take the bread and now, let's see, we can look at the bread. Oh, crap. This bread's covered with rat droppings. Yes, it's covered in rat shit, but we can use it anyways. I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? Okay, now he won't complain about him being hungry anymore, so let's walk back. You can interact with the cookbook. And this bottle here. Champagne looks ready to fall apart. It's useless. Let's see. Never mind. Uh, there we go. There we go. It's a recipe for a more forgiving kindness. It takes a willingness to forgive and a will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocents and the anger of the wrong. What kind of crap is this? But yeah, he takes it down. He puts it back. So. Uh, see, so use a bottle. Okay. The bottle's empty. Okay, and you pretty much sit here. Let's see, look at fatal's poisoned. It's empty, but the label says poison. Fatal if swallowed. Yeah, that's all he does with that. And another thing, like, okay, so I was going to play this on my birthday, but. Another reason as to why you can't mind is because this is a full screen game. It's like Doom, Quake, Doom and Nukem, and all that. I right, let's see. Use a knife with the stitching. Like so. With Doom and Quake and all that, I can make the game window smaller so I can see the chat box in case somebody does stop by and chat. This game I can't. I have no way to check the chat box, so. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is use the rope with this boring ring. So let's just go back. Yeah, this game, like, there's some some things you can skip around, and other things you gotta like do a certain way. Like, even if the with the it is like even if the objective is clear, you still gotta like interact first. And yes, yes, sharp enough to cut through. And okay, so use a knife with stitching. Want to be careful here. I don't want to hit too many of these. Oh shit! And I fucked up. Um. So we're going to use a switch. Well, let's see here. There are other things I can do. Oh. 
Facebook or make really skip through or something, but oh well. As the look at the machine. Alright, so we're going to Oh wait, wait, hold on, not yet, not yet. Shoot. Okay. Uh crap, how did I do this? The bloody key. All right, so what I have to do is push the lever. Where is it? My God, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Now, can he take it? I got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. Now we can take this. Uh, see, look at it. All right, Gorster. Milky fluid. Ha. Can use the fork with the machine. The lever and the fork short circuited the engine wire. All right. Ooh, maybe that's what I had to do. Okay. Yeah, I did. Even though I just play this, I there are some things I forgot already. But again, like I said, like parts of this game can be played out of order, and then certain parts you you gotta do, like I said, interacting things. So Gas is rushing out. there we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think it might be random. But where? Let's use the store here. We've not gone in here yet. Right, and uh, take the pillow. He should be able to go to it now. Oh, there we go. Maybe I did land. Maybe I did land before, and I, I'm just remembering it differently, even though I just play this. this no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. All right. Some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. Lucky you, they named a rundown bar. That's somehow familiar. At the. All right, let's use the jukebox. What should we play? Select Jezebel? That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? So, just see here. Right, so this okay, there is one more. Worthless excuse for a man. Mama was right. You're not good enough for me. Right. And so there's that. Now Let's see, go over here and grab the whiskey bottle. And let's see what's the back door. So is Glennis dead? You've seen better days. So is the big machine for that matter. And here is a talking jackal with red eyes that sometimes glow yellow. Um Mind again. No, 
but I do have an email to get you sent. He and I are like brothers. You know, even I'm confused a bit about that riddle thing. Today, he saw a Chinaman, so he's that supposed to. You saw a Chinaman? Like, is it, is, I mean, is that really, like, the answer? Like, you, you see, I, I, I don't know. Is there something more to it? Or is that literally, he's, like, well, then, no, I don't think that would be a riddle then. It's very confusing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Ha, puns, but I'm tis. Where do you come from? So, it's a jackal. Don't jackals come from Africa? Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Kind of commonplace that you put fear of us like that. You must know what lies across the mountain. Freedom for some. If they're cut off for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hellhole lands cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. Don't expect me to be a good doggy in a tight pack. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something primitive. A human heart. Go to the restroom and flush three times. Okay. So we gave the jackal our heart, or of course, we gave the jackal his heart. I whatever. Ah, uh, see, take. There's a shovel here. We can take. How Gorster is living around without a heart in his chest? I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's a video game. Whatever. But, I mean... Even then, I think this game should have like some realism. It has... I think it has some type of realism, but yeah. How did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Eh. Uh, here, look. Like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Whose heart would impale when he's up in the spot? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Okay. So he's pretty much just gonna be repeating himself. So. Okay, so that's one. That's two. And here's three. A lake walker? How'd I get? Obviously, on Miko's. Damn, you bastard. What have you done? Talk to one of us first. Now, when I first played this, I did not do this at first, but shit. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to give the milky fluid to Glennis. Oh. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, let's then, let's talk to Edna. Oh, 
Oh, actually, hold up. Let's see here. Walk to the door. I just remembered something. Now, if you just try taking the rope, he'll go, you tie them not too tight. So you do is you use the knife on the rope. There should be something here. Let me see. Look at. Okay, just a silly. Uh, later on, there will be an item in the urinal that we can use. like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Am. Why would you want to escape from me, Bunker? We're family, after all. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Oh, poor lad. I was just concerned about my baby. Glennis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Okay, Edna. There is one more thing we can do on the Zeppelin. Now this tablecloth here. Wipe their bloody hands here. We can use the tablecloth. My hands of the past. That little jingle there, I believe, is lets you know you've done something to prestige the game. Okay, let's, we can look at the vomit stain. Screw it here. Let's look at it. Look at the vomit stain. And we can look at the punch, but do not take the punch. Do not swallow it. It will, it will uh, result in a instant game over. in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? Alright, let's Later. do it. This game does kind of pretty much give you a hint as to what to do. So earlier, the, in the urinal, there was no magnifying glass. Now there's a magnifying glass in the urinal. Use it with the debris. Poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. And when the poison took effect, I cut you open. Why did you kill me? It's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk. That's why we did it, you know. What did you do? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Okay. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Anne. I had to. I've always been harsh on who I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. All right.
So, we can take her down from the hook. We can get, we can cut out her heart. Or we can shoot her with a gun. Uh, do not shoot her. That will also end in a automatic game over. So, I'm trying to think, what did I do? Okay, I think, okay, to cut out, so what I'm going to do is take her down. Okay, so tie tie it up with the rope. I did this a bit differently when I played this. When I played this, I gave her the milk, and she ran off, and I had to find her. But you're supposed to do I me. Mean, I I still beat the game. There, so this game has multiple endings, and I'm not sure, but I think this might affect your ending. Uh, let's see. Uh, but here, we're gonna do it this way. We can give her the milk, or we can tie her up with the rope. And, we're just gonna tie her up right now. Okay. And, let's take the key. Let's use the magnifying glass, and... Right, so we can use the knife now. Before he wanted to do that, and there's this door here. We weren't able to use it before because it was locked. So we use the key, and it got from Edna. And. Oh shit, be careful here. Uh, also, do not go into the desert again. Game over. So, we, um, we can offer him the be a part.
give. Use the shovel on the ground. And use Glenn's body with a grave and we bury her. Use this here. Use here or use the switch. Talk to the jackal. Now, this key here, the bloody key, I have no idea whatever went to. I don't think I ever figured out how to use it. And yeah, but so what you want to do now? You have the gun. You want. Oh. Alright, that was Gorser's story. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please leave a comment and a like, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a patron. I have a $1 tier and a $3 tier. $1 tier, you get your name that appears at the beginning and end of each video. Your name also goes into the description of the video. $3 tier, same thing as $1 tier, but I will also shout out your name and I'll put in the description, along with your name, one link of your choice to one of your social medias. If you'd like to support the channel more or whatever, buy some merch. I have a Streamlabs merch shop. You can see the link at the top here. Again, things in the, the link will be in the description. I have t-shirts, mugs, and a couple other things you can check out. I even have a Redbubble. I have like a sticker and a clock and couple of things there as well on Redbubble. If you would like to commission me to draw your original character, I have a Fiverr starting at $10 and t-shirt artwork and artwork in that is done by Johnny Bush and the music is done by Roman Sermon. The woman wearing the shirt here is Shelly, Roman's wife. Thank you for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful day, night, and Dasidania.